You have selected Captain Falcon's Twister Race. Hello everybody, Obi-Wan362 here, and we are about to play as the one, the only Captain Falcon. That's right. This game, this game can be rather entertaining. It can also be rather annoying, depending on how things want to work. I don't know who else has a problem with this, but every once in a while, the gyroscope on this thing will screw me over. Um, basically what happens is, on the gamepad, I have an overhead view of the track. And as I tilt the gamepad, that, that determines, you know, which direction I go, how much I'm turning, all that fun stuff. Downside is, I can't show you that. But, I mean, you see basically the same thing, except instead of the view that you see I would have you have an overhead view of the track instead um, the only time it's really wise to look at the screen is when you're getting ready to go through tunnels like that one right there because just like a good overhead view you can't see inside those tunnels come on come on come on come on come on work no no I play this when I think of pod racer okay, that's what I think of every time I play any racing game cuz I'm sorry as much as I love Mario Kart and stuff like that, Pod Racer was the, the racing game for me. Okay. Almost, th but yeah, so this is a hint. This is what a lot of people are hoping for to be a hint towards, you know, a new F-Zero game. Something, I don't know. I, I have honestly never played an F-Zero game. And so it was one of those things like when I played Captain Falcon, you know, in um, Smash Brothers and things, I'm like, who is this guy? Oh, that's right. Every, um, every five areas, you hit a checkpoint. And I was thinking it was... I was thinking it was, um, I don't know why, but I was thinking it was Four, not or every three, not five. So come on. Oh nope, it's every four. My bad. Shows what I know. Okay. Speed up. This one has got to be one of my more favorite levels that I've made it to. I haven't made it all that far. But. Time to weave through traffic. Again, this is, but this is one level where if the gyroscope decides it wants to screw me up, it can really screw me up. Um, just like all good Nintendo games, there's a star that lets you just plow through everything in your way, but it doesn't last very long. No! Nope. Nerfed. I've not actually ever hit that many cars before. It's not on this level. Um. No! Hate spinny thingies. Stars! Go, go, go! That's the only problem I have though, is that with the star, I always end up thinking I'm gonna be invincible a little longer than I am, and I quit avoiding the swirly thingies, and then I can't recover from that. Go, go, go! Come on! Some of these tighter squeezes are also almost a little mean, just because... Whoa! Okay, those uh, red bomb thingies, those are instant death. This game operates more on the aspect of, you know... You, oh, there it is. On the aspect of reach the end before time runs out. Which isn't too bad. Until you hit a bomb and that's the end of it. Yeah, there's 12 areas, I've not made it to the 12th one yet. But yeah! As you can see, that was also not my best run ever. But it was pretty representative of how this game goes. If you're a fan of racing games that actually have tilt controls so you know you're like steering, then this is a pretty good game. I'm just not much of a racing fan. I'm sorry, it's true, but don't hold it against me. But nevertheless, that was Captain Falcon's game, and now click to pick your next game.